As America prepares to celebrate its Independence Day on July 4th, many chapters of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community USA held interfaith events during the holy month of Ramadan from coast to coast to celebrate mutual understanding and tolerance. At the community's national headquarters in Silver Spring, Maryland, Imam Hamad shed some light on the concept of jihad, an often misunderstood concept in Islam. Now, nobody fights a holy war with the book of the Quran in their hands. It means to implement the teachings of the Quran in your life. That is the greatest jihad in Islam. So once the Prophet Muhammad, peace be him, was returning from a battle. And when he was returning from the battle, again, I'm going to see the Arabic so you can hear the word jihad there. He says that, Ajatna min al-jihad al-asghari min al-jihad al-akbari. The companions asked him, they said, what is that greater jihad? And he said that greater jihad is to become a better Muslim, a better worshiper of Allah. Various speakers from neighboring towns highlighted aspects of their faith aimed at bringing us together. Over 120 guests attended the event and broke fast with the congregation. Afterwards, we caught up with some of the guests for their impressions of the evening. And admit for the first time that, although I'm over 75 years old, that it was the first time I ever set foot in a mosque. And recently, like many of you, I've listened on the uh, radio and watched television and seen your faith traditions constantly maligned and talked about. Most of us understand more clearly what divides us than what unites us. And so this particular program is about those commonalities in our traditions and how we can as a community, how we can as a nation, grow to respect each other in the days ahead. Um, the event was very interesting. I asked a lot of questions about the culture, about the religion, about how people um, interact with each other, things that I didn't know, things that um, I only read, but I wanted to hear from, from, from all of you here. We just, we need more love, and more compassion, and more respect, you know, respect each other and understand each other. Tonight was especially special because there are so many other faiths here. And I think it was an example of how humanity can live together, how humanity can love one another, and what I think you're doing in holding an event like this is um, living what you talk about, which is love for all, hatred for none. The Los Angeles East chapter of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community also hosted their annual interfaith iftar dinner at Bat al-Hamid Mosque in Chino, California. This is an annual event which brings together faith leaders, law enforcement, and public officials to celebrate the holy fasting month of Ramadan in Islam and break the fast with the community. Dr. Asan M. Khan, president of the LA East chapter, welcomed the guests and discussed the need for interfaith dialogue during the current social climate of fear and division in the country and around the world. The Khalifa of Islam, he visited our mosque here in 2013 and some in the audience had a chance to meet him. He has traveled around the world with the simple message that we conquer hearts with love and we respond to fear or rallies like we saw today with compassion, with education, with tolerance. Various guests were then invited to the stage representing religious organizations. The keynote speaker was U.S. Congresswoman Norma Torres of the 35th Congressional District. So thank you for including me in, in all of your activities. Know that I will do everything that I can um, to bring about uh, your message to Congress. I, um, I have a couple of um, certificates to recognize your work in the community. Imam Mohammed Zafarullah Hanjra delivered the closing remarks discussing the spiritual objectives of Ramadan. The session concluded with a silent prayer and call to prayer to break the fast. Guests also joined the members in partaking in iftar. Following the evening prayers, dinner was provided to all in attendance on Zahir basketball court. Approximately 150 guests were in attendance, along with 500 members of the local congregation. I want to thank the Amatisha community for uh, the leadership that they have shown in bringing um, us leaders together. Uh, we have to come together, how we in one voice and one heart. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm very happy that to be in this um, community. The best part is just getting together with so many nice people of many different congregations, many different walks of life that have a common, out, a common belief in God. And uh, it's a wonderful experience. You invited a wide array of religious leaders. You invited politicians and lawmakers. You invited the law enforcement. And when these people go back to their communities, they are going to take a message that we went to the Muslim after our dinner. This is who they are. This is their philosophy and they are a peaceful religion. 
There were many similar events held throughout the U.S. educating thousands of people about the peaceful teachings of Islam. Christopher Khalidjani, MTA News, USA.